Hi everyone, today I'm gonna do something that I have like never done on this channel for some reason and that is baking! I love to bake and it's something I do like all the time so I don't really know why I have never done a video when I'm baking but today I'm gonna do cookie dough and I'm super excited so I'm gonna try Tasty's cookie dough video and they did like a four different ways of cookie dough so that's what I'm gonna do I love Tasty and I watch their videos all the time but I have actually never tried any of their recipes so today's gonna be a first and I'm super excited so if you want to see when I try to make cookie dough which I have never done before just keep watching so the first thing I'm going to do is the base dough which is is basically the dough then I'm gonna put chocolate in it I'm gonna put peanut butter cups I'm gonna put Oreos I have all their stuff that they had in their video so let's start I have my flour here that I baked for five minutes in the oven I'm not sure why you have to do that but I'm sure they know what they're doing so I'm just following the recipe then I need one cup of brown sugar then you need soft butter and this is like room temperature now but in their video their butter is almost melted so I'm gonna go put this in the microwave for like a few seconds I'm back with some very very soft butter then you need two tablespoons of milk which I have in this one and uh, one teaspoon vanilla and I think they use like vanilla extracts but I used to have like powder kind of vanilla so I'm just putting that one in there and one teaspoon salt then they just mix it Okay, now I have mixed it and it was kind of hard trying to mix out all the little butter chunks but I think they're all gone now so this is how it looks and now you're supposed to refrigerate it for 30 minutes and in the meantime I'm gonna do some shopping with the chocolate and squashing Oreos and stuff. You need a lot of chocolate chips, which I don't have, I just have normal chocolate bars. So I'm going to have to cut these into smaller pieces. Then the recipe says that you're supposed to smash 4 Oreos. But in the video they had 5 Oreos, so I'm gonna take 5 also because, you know, the more the better. Fun fact, while I'm waiting for the dough to refrigerate, is that my dog is actually named Cookie. Cookie, come! So I guess my family really loves cookies, if we even named our dog a cookie. But she's cute like a cookie, so that's also maybe why. <laughs> okay, so it's been refrigerated for 30 minutes, and it's pretty hard right now, but I'm gonna divide it into four parts, and then... We can start flavoring! The first one is just gonna be normal chocolate chip. So I'm gonna take the chocolate that I cut before and just... I don't know if I will be needing all of this. I'm not really following... I'm not really following the recipe when it comes to like the amount of how much chocolate and stuff. I'm just kind of eyeballing it because I'm really... I don't know. I'm just doing however much I like, so... I'm gonna start with a little bit of the chocolate. The first one is done and I think it looks really good actually. I'm not gonna taste it yet, I'm gonna taste all of them in the end when they're all done. The second one is gonna be cookies and cream, so I'm taking all my Oreo crumbles and I'm just gonna pour it in here. This one feels kind of dry, it doesn't really come together like the chocolate chip one did. Maybe I 
took a bit too many Oreos. I should have probably just taken four, like the recipe said. Okay, it's actually come together pretty well. I think it's done. That's this one. Oh, not the prettiest one. It's kind of some really weird color, but it will probably taste really good. Okay, so now it's the peanut butter cup one. So you need peanut butter for this one, peanut butter cups, and they use some kind of like chocolate candy. It looks like M&M's, um, but I couldn't find regular M&M's, so I'm using peanut M&M's. So it's a lot of peanut, but I love peanuts, and peanut butter is like the best thing in the world. This one is definitely a lot like creamier than the Oreo one, um, so it's easier to mix. But I don't know, the consistency is like a bit too creamy, I think. Then the recipe said you needed three peanut butter cups, but Reese's are kind of expensive here, so I just bought like a package of two, and we're gonna make it work. So this is the finished one, it's very creamy, but maybe if you like refrigerate it for a while it will be better, I don't know. Okay, so for the last one I have just melted some chocolate. So now I'm gonna start mixing in the chocolate pieces. and. Some white chocolate. So this is the triple chocolate chunk and it's also very creamy but I think I'm gonna refrigerate them, all of them, for a while and then we'll see if they become better. Okay so they've been in the refrigerator now for about 10 minutes I don't know if that's enough, but I'm too excited, so I can't wait to taste them. So first, I'm just gonna taste normal chocolate chip. It's good. But it tastes a lot like butter. I think the recipe was like one cup butter. And I didn't really measure how much butter I used. I just used like a package. Okay, I'm keeping it, so I probably like it. The second one, Oreo. I'm so excited for this one. This. It actually just tastes like a big Oreo. It tastes like you just like mash an Oreo. It doesn't taste any like cookie dough at all and I don't know if that's good or bad. I love Oreos so it tastes really good but I might as well just eat Oreo cookies. But it's good. Then we have the peanut butter cup one. I'm so excited for this one. Okay and first I'm just gonna try the batter. This is so good. It it seriously tastes like you just mashed a peanut butter cup, put more peanuts, and then just put it in something like a cookie dough, and just. Mm. I'm gonna taste with an M and M, see if it makes it better or worse. That made it so much better. Oh my god. My mom is gonna love this. She loves peanut butter and peanuts and everything that has with peanuts to do. That's why I love it because she's the one who taught me to love peanuts. Oh my god. 
Okay, last one is this chocolate, very, very chocolatey one. It's good. I'd probably say I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate. Maybe I should have used milk chocolate, um, like the melt to melt it, and then dark chocolate like chunks. But um, yeah, it's not as sweet as the other ones just because it's dark chocolate. It's good, but it's not like it's not like a peanut butter one. Now I love peanut butter and I mean I love chocolate too, but not really dark chocolate. If I'm gonna do this again, I'm definitely gonna do it with milk chocolate because I think I would love it then. So to like rank them from best to worst, no one was really bad, but just to like my favorite, obviously the peanut butter one. Then I actually think it will be the Oreo one, and then chocolate chip, yes, normal always works and then the chocolate one yes because of the dark chocolate but that's my fault that's not really the recipe so now i tried a tasty recipe and it turned out great i think i have some really good cookie doughs that i can eat for like <sighs> i was gonna say a week but then i look at them and i'm like <laughs> could probably do it in a day um <laughs> but anyways if you like this video and if you like this concept just like me trying recipes or baking just in general like this video and if you're new to my channel and you want to see more then just click that subscribe button and it will make me really happy so i hope i see you in my next video bye